Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first I want to say I was inspired to do this look by by Brigill. She's off of Instagram. I've already done my foundation and powder so I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to prime them with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm using the Morphe M334 brush to apply that. The first eyeshadow that I'm going to use is MAC Roll Eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that with the Morphe M441 brush and apply that into the crease and also closer to the inner corners of the eyes. This look is pretty dramatic so I wanted the eyeshadow to go a little bit further than the end of my eye so I'm kind of brushing it outward towards the end of my eyebrow. The next eyeshadow that I'm using is Red Brick by MAC and I'm using that same brush by Morphe and going right over that first eyeshadow that I put on doing the same exact thing going into the inner corner of the crease and brushing it outward towards the brow. So now it's time to smoke it out a little bit. So I'm going in first with the MAC Star Violet eyeshadow and I'm using the Morphe M433 brush to apply that to the outer corners and I'm also blending it upwards. So to make it a little bit darker, I'm going in with Max Deep Damson eyeshadow and I'm using the same exact brush that I just used and applying it in the same exact spot just to make it a little bit darker and smokier. So now I'm going in with just a regular pencil blending brush and I'm smudging out the deep damson right underneath my lower lash line and also bringing it upwards into the eyeshadow above. After this step I did apply some black eyeshadow to the outer corner and on the lower lash line but my camera had died and it didn't record it. For the cut crease, I'm going in with MAC's Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Light and I'm using a Morphe lip brush to apply the concealer. So I'm putting the concealer right in the inner corner and about halfway onto the lid and making a half cut crease. For the lid color, I'm going in with the new Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows and I'm going to apply that right onto the lid where I put the concealer. I am completely obsessed with these eyeshadows. I have bought like pretty much every color that they have already. They are amazing. I don't have any fallout from the glitter. I didn't have any creasing whatsoever. They're amazing.
To highlight my brow bone, I'm using the MAC Eyeshadow Nylon, and I'm using the Morphe M167 brush. To contour my face, I'm going in with MAC Sculpt Sculpting Powder, and I'm using the Morphe M530 brush. For blush, I'm using Max Peony Petal Blush, and I'm going to apply that with the Morphe M403 brush, and I'm going to put that pretty much on my cheeks and where I've contoured, and I'm going to put it in the temples and on the forehead as well. For my highlighter, I'm using Becca's Opal, and I'm using the Morphe M438 brush. So I'm going to apply that to the cheekbones and to the cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. So for mascara, I'm using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and I'm going to coat my lashes before I put on my false lashes. For my waterline, I'm going to use ColourPop's eyeliner in Swerve. For lashes today, I'm using the Dodo Lashes in D105. So far, I don't have a problem with these lashes. They are super soft, super flexible, easy to put on. They are amazing. And I will also have a discount code in the down bar below. They are super affordable. They are $5 and they also have some thicker ones that are $12. For lipstick, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Cookie, and I have absolutely fell in love with these lippy sticks. I've only used them a few times, but they are super creamy, they do stay on all day long, and they're only $5, so you can't beat that price. For the paint, I'm using the MAC acrylic paint in the shade Pure White, and I'm just going to use the end of a brush and dot that above my brows.
I also changed my lipstick towards the end of the video because I didn't like this shade with those eyeshadow colors. But this is the end of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video and I will see you next time. Bye.